So we're going to bring them out and again, we're going to curl our nail file. Now, these nails are going to be much softer because they're, they're normally wet all the time. Okay, so again, same little thing. And then that will curl back. We'll do the next one. You can see this now needs a little trim. So again, I've just cut it flat. Lovely. And then the next one we're going to pull out. So again, we're trying to bring it out. And you can see this one, it's got a little bit of dirt. So your flat edge scissors, you can take under. and try it and clean underneath. Give them a little wipe and again cut the nail so it's flat. So I'm not going too short. I'm still leaving a nice length on there just so I can file it around. And it's important these ones have no sharp bits on them because again, as it curls back into the hand, it could cause further infection, dig in, and cause a lot of pain and discomfort. So again, next nail up, try and straighten it. Just take the flat bit off. So I'm using the flat edge of the scissor as a marker. And you can see I'm pushing that under the nail bed. So I'm not catching the skin. Okay. Again, nail file. Lovely. Okay, and then finally, the thumbs. So turn the hand round, rotate, and let's look at the thumb. Now the thumbs are normally quite hard. So again, to get your flat edge scissors, push it to the nail bed, cut. Okay. And then file. As appropriate, there we go. So once you've done your filing and you're happy that the nails aren't sharp. So what you need to do is just run your finger over each of the nails because this hand, you really don't want sharp edges. And once you're happy that that's done, again, a little bit more cream around the hand. And again, you'll have to take one finger out at a time to moisturize. Okay, go round to the wrist, try and massage the hand. Now, if you had a tennis ball, it's useful to pop a tennis ball into his hand just to try and keep the fingers open to help them relax a little bit um, and the air to get around for, for a little bit of time. So the hand's a little bit more open rather than clawed up. Okay, and once you're happy, you're all done. It's the case of cleaning away and removing your apron. So taking your apron off, popping it into the gloves and then disposing of those and again just check your patient to make sure that they're okay so you're okay Paul you. wonderful and document thanks for watching